What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back from the Riesville. But my, um, I just looking got back from the gym. I'm tired right now. But my, um, and Jim put me on this video to cause me wonder about, well, no job in majors. I mean, you everybody knows about the situation. We're going about majors, especially him. I believe he, I believe he's in, especially he divide. Uh, he presented numerous proof and everything. This one says breaking, well, title breaking news. John for majors, huge win for case for in this victim in the victim case and the victim, the alleged, the alleged victim who pretty much try to put the blame on him, say he assault her, has been arrested. I'm like, man, it's about time, especially you making false police report. And plus, there was video, I know there was video of her actually going to a club partying. I'm like, you've been a victim of domestic violence. That doesn't make any sense. You going out to a club and partying. Like, you just got done being assaulted. No, nah, something, something ain't right. Anyway, let's go and dive on into the video. You are no special question. I'll comment below. Let me know what you're at to. Let's get it. Somebody from Marvel has spoke. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and today we have some huge developments with Jonathan Major's assault. Yeah, he is a great actor. Taking quite a huge turn in favor of Jonathan Majors. As of right now, it is looking very good for Jonathan Majors. He also, was the finally, best one there by you know, and it was about yeah. the case of Jonathan Majors, and that is Anthony Mackie. Captain America. He spoke out about the case saying some positive things. So it's nice to see a fellow Marvel actor supporting Jonathan Majors. Right so. Good job, Anthony Mackie. Especially right now since a lot of the evidence that him and his lawyer have provided to the court, to the NYPD, it all suggests that he is innocent. And let's go ahead and break down this huge win for Jonathan Majors right now. So, real quick, if you are not aware, Jonathan Majors, who plays Kang the Conqueror in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and who starred in Creed 3, Creed was 3. arrested on March 25th in New York. He was arrested for several cases of assault on his now ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, and he is now facing charges for assault against her and is going to court. Now, ever since he was arrested, in which he went very peacefully and cooperatively with the police that night, his lawyer and himself have stated he is innocent and probably the victim in this situation. And recently, his lawyer and team have provided video footage, photographic evidence, and eyewitness testimonies to the court that state that Jonathan Majors didn't do anything. He did not assault his ex-girlfriend, and they even have footage of the police at his apartment kind of coaching his ex-girlfriend to kind of say that it was him. He assaulted what? her, he hurt her, but the footage also shows her stating huh. that she did not know how she got hurt. In fact, the footage shows her looking at her hand and her saying, how did I hurt my hand? Basically stating she didn't know, but then they said that it was Jonathan Majors. So a lot of that evidence that they have recently provided is very good mm. in the case of Jonathan Majors. Jo Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, I went to, but yeah, that, that's shocking right there. Jonathan Majors, but today it gets even better. Yesterday, Jonathan Majors' lawyer, Priya Chaudhry, said that Majors met with the NYPD, the New York Police Department, last week to present them with evidence of what really happened that night. She said, within hours of viewing the evidence and conducting their own thorough investigation, the New York Police Department found probable cause to arrest Grace Jabari for assaulting Jonathan Majors. Then she ended by stating, Considering this development, we extend our gratitude to the NYPD detectives for their efforts. Now, keep in mind, detectives and regular police great in both roles. The scene when people are called for 911 calls are two very different jobs. So they weren't dealing with the police that they were dealing with before that now allegedly coached Grace Jabari and stating that it was Jonathan Majors who did all of the pain to her. Not the same police. These are detectives who looked at the evidence, evaluated the evidence, and came to the conclusion that Grace Grace Jabari was actually the one who assaulted Jonathan Majors, and they have actually gone and arrested her. This is an incredible win for Jonathan Majors at this point in time. With the arrest of Grace Jabari for assault and all of the other evidence that Priya Chaudhary has said that they have provided to the court, it's looking pretty good for Jonathan Majors right now. And we have okay. seen some of the footage. We have shown some of the footage on the channel before of Grace Jabari immediately after the supposed assault took place on her going to a nightclub and partying and using her hand, which apparently was broken, 
and touching her ear, which apparently was injured as well, showing no signs of pain whatsoever. She mm. went out and partied. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about earlier. Apartment, which she was not there at the time. He got home around 11 a.m. in the morning, they stated. And when he got home, he could not enter into his bedroom because the door was locked. So he called the maintenance man who came and unlocked it, in which they both found Grace Jabari passed out half naked in the closet, her not knowing what had happened. And the maintenance worker did say he would testify on behalf of Jonathan Majors. So okay, that's what's good. up. They are still going back to court again on August 3rd, but this will definitely change the tides of the court. Like I mentioned, with the arrest of Grace Jabari for assault cases against Jonathan Majors and all the evidence they've provided, that should definitely help clear Jonathan Majors' name. And like I mentioned, Marvel co-star and Captain America star Anthony Mackie has recently spoken up about the case of Jonathan Majors in an interview with Inverse, talking about his upcoming projects Twisted Metal and Captain America 4. The article reads, When I ask about the fate of the multiverse uber baddie Kang the Conqueror, who has been played by Jonathan Majors, but whose future seems uncertain following allegations of abuse that have cost the actor other roles, Mackie is circumspect. Anthony Mackie said this in the interview, and I quote, Yeah, when I first saw his character in Loki, I'm like, that's Kane the Conqueror. Until proven guilty, he says. Police that's of Aaron. one of the staples of this country. Nothing has been proven about this dude. Nothing. So, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. That's all I can say. It's crazy where we are as a society. But, as a country, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. And right now, in the U.S., that is the law. That is how it's supposed to be, at least. Yeah, you are they not making found good guilty now. until you are proven guilty, which is a big reason why I think Marvel Studios and Disney haven't dropped him yet. Yes, they have done some changes so far in promoting Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, basically taking his face and name out of all the promotions for the movie. And they have even held off on the Disney Plus special presentation assembled for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, but we've had no reports about Marvel Studios actually deciding to recast Kang already. From what we've heard, they have precautions in place. They have a plan ready in case he is proven guilty but fortunately it does seem like they are waiting to see what happens in this trial yeah which is great because majors has already lost a few jobs because of this his management company and pr company both dropped him and of course his name is out there not in exactly the best way everybody knows he was arrested and it's overall just a very hard time for him right now obviously and we don't yeah. officially know what the court keep your head down is you know and we don't know proven what evidence get all that back grace jabari and her team is going to be presenting to the court but the fact that the NYPD detectives found the evidence that Jonathan Majors gave them evidence enough to go and arrest her for assault against him is a pretty good indicator that Jonathan Majors is in a decent position right now to prove yeah. that he is indeed innocent. Now, if you're wondering what those assault cases are, they were in not an Uber, but a private car company car. And apparently she tried to take his phone and started to kind of harass him and assault him. She did this to the point to where he told the driver to stop and let him out. Now, here's the interesting part. They have footage of him trying to get out of the car and her pulling his coat, trying to drag him back into the car. And he's a really big guy. And she managed to pull him back into the car until eventually he takes off his coat and gets away. Now, the driver is one of the people that is going to testify that Majors never touched her. He simply tried to walk away as she was hitting him. And they have surveillance footage. Smart from move, man. Just, this as well, which I'm assuming just is take your coat off, buy a new one, and get, get out that car. For the trial. I'm assuming this footage and the testimony of the driver is what got Jabari arrested for the accounts of assault. And to add to it, there were some people outside who saw Jonathan Majors who kind of freaked out about who he was and wanted an autograph and he gave it to them. He took a picture with them. All while <laughs> trying to get so. <laughs> away from this person who was assaulting him. So Jonathan Major simply walked away from the situation. He did not stay with her or at his apartment that night. He came back home to his place at 11 a.m. where he found Grace Jabari there drunk in which he called the police and the police kind of coached jabari to say that it was majors who did it so they arrested him this is all of the evidence that we have heard about hmm. so far and if it all why did it, true, then that it is a, why would the police is nah i want those officers man those officers i don't know what's going on 
that's just a big win for Jonathan Majors right now and for the upcoming case. So of course, if we hear anything else, we will let you know. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner gets to pick one item and we pick a winner at the end of each month. Only two days left now. You can also support us on Patreon. You can visit our website and join our Discord server, or you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much. So much for watching. Woof woof. Yeah, this this case just took a huge turn. This is definitely a huge huge win for for Jonathan. Okay, this was a very great video. I'm glad they point out on this, especially if the the police actually coached her into saying all that. Man, this is crazy. Also, he did he did the right move, especially she was trying to drag by the cold. I was like, okay, just put put the phone in your pocket and just slip the, slip your sleeve, you know, arms out, arms out the sleeve. Just walk outside, close that door fast. You can right behind you so that way, get out fast as possible because you did the right move, remove himself as soon as possible in that situation. You would have stayed in that, uh, stay in that car. It would been a whole lot worse. Yeah, so you made the right choice, like getting out like that. But anyway, I want to see some more of this. Pretty sure you're going to keep us up in the loop. Going to stay more. I'm going to stay watch this channel a lot more. I might do some more reaction videos. Of this anyway. Let me know think of the video. How you feel about the case so far? What's going on right now? Anyway, let me know how you feel. Once again, make sure you give a boy like, comment, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day or eat them. Yeah, it's about seven o'clock. My I'm going to bring this out right now and post it. So anyway, have a fantastic day, y'all. Peace.